Those fighting against the opioid epidemic say they can't let the coronavirus stop their efforts. Recovery coaches and groups are going virtual due to guidelines set by health officials about gatherings. For many, experts say the meetings are an important lifeline and vital step to sobriety. So how are recovery groups adapting? I would assume supporter Sheena Lasciuto joins us now from her home with the story that's new tonight. There's no doubt the coronavirus pandemic has forced all walks of life to make several changes, including those on the path to recovery. Now, with several in-person meetings canceled, different groups are thinking about different options to make sure there's enough resources for anyone that needs help. Recovery from addiction is a different journey for everyone. That's why for Monica Smith, the work doesn't stop. It's not just about the individual. We work to also make the system better. She's the CEO of RI Cares, a nonprofit recovery community organization helping people and different programs. Human contact is a necessity in the work that we do, and we've had to minimize that for a little bit. We've gotten some masks and some more protective personal devices for staff, and so we plan on making sure that we're safe. A lot of the work her team does is out on the streets. It also includes helping other recovery groups. Our immediate response was, let's support the agencies that are getting meetings online. Let's make sure they have the tools they need. I think where we have to be really creative is making sure that we're having authentic personal connections using technology. With in-person recovery meetings canceled due to coronavirus concerns, many have moved online. Reach out if you need help. Coaches with the Parent Support Network of Rhode Island let me in on a demonstration of what one looks like. And we've been having them three times a day. The recovery coaches tell me it's important for those struggling to remember they're not alone. I might be in recovery, but I also, you know, struggle with things just like every other person that's experiencing this different lifestyle that we have so it's exacerbating some of our symptoms and you know I'm not immune to that stuff so these these support groups are as healing and supportive for myself even as the director as they are to any of our peers that are jumping on the recovery coaches I met virtually tonight tell me they know a lot of people are struggling right now they say these online meetings might be a great first step for someone who's looking for help we'll have much more information on our website WPRI.com I'm Sheena Loshudo Eyewitness News